Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Just Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2008 Nissan Tita. Uh, it's only got 38,000, or uh, approaching 39,000 uh, kilometers, which is only 24,000 miles. So let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do over a lot of information in my videos. It's going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the financing, etc. I go over all that and more in my video. So please watch until the end, and you'll have all the answers that you need. If not, you go ahead and contact me. This Nissan Tita is a five passenger vehicle in the uh, 500 series category, so the mid size category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, 7,500 yen, which is about $68 right now. And you can see it does have a little scratch dent right there, so we're going to touch that up. Um, but road tax is due every April, May time frame. But if you don't want to wait through any lines, stop by John Deere's Cars after April 1st and a few days before May ends, and we're going to assist you with that. You have two choices to uh, uh, pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright. Or you can take advantage of our 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, it's totally up to you. Let's go inside. Now, this one does not have the uh, rain guards, but I always advise you to get a good uh, windshield visor to help keep this thing cooler in the summertime. Okay. Let's jump on in. So it does have a, a keyless, so as long as the key is on your person, you can just go ahead and crank it over. As if the key was inside. If the battery dies in the uh, in the keyless, you just push this over and then you can slide this out as a regular key and put it in there. Uh, let's turn off this radio. Sorry, Troy. Okay, let's just slow it down so you don't get the wind noise. Okay. 38,758 on the odometer. Hopefully you can see that. Show you a couple of warning lights. Uh, that bottom right one, the green one, that is your new temperature gauge. So it's going to be green when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it's going to go away. And it'll be red if it's overheating. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, the one above that to the left is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. But it's a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And then where's my... There it is. And there you got your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then you can uh, see some of the silhouettes of the other warning lights. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay, other than that, just a very straightforward, uh, straight ahead instrument cluster. Off to the left here, you do have a little compartment for some uh, storage. Your radio, this one does not have a rear camera. Your air conditioning controls, you do have cup holders. Your shifter, little armrest, it does have a little, um, compartment in there for some storage and then um, down here you do have a little uh, maybe for some coins or whatnot and you got your power outlet all right and this is normally ripped all the time but this is um, again very low kilometer so it's in really good shape uh, off to the left here you do have your deep pocket um, glove box and a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel okay that's your passenger space over there uh, you got your red roof flare hanging out and this is the space I have over here Let me just make sure yeah this is all the way down Yep. Uh, I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Let me see. I can drive as is or actually slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, you do have a sunglass compartment up here as well. All right, so let's, uh, that's eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers, like on most cars. All right. Now, normally I show you the auction sheet, uh, showing that it's a non-accident vehicle uh, from mainland Japan, but good is, but because it's just came in, it hasn't been detailed yet, I keep those inside the office until they have. Once they've been detailed, just please look on top here uh, on the sun visor on the driver's side, that's where it's going to be. But if you want to take a look at it before it's been detailed, I can run in the office and get that uh, uh, for you to show that it's a non-accident vehicle. Can't stress that enough. No accident vehicles here. Okay. Um, off to the right here on the dash, you do have your mirror controls. And then please don't forget on the bottom right of the dash, you have two levers here. One on the right is uh, your gas cover release, and then the one on the left is your hood release. Okay? And this little guy down here, I forgot to show you, that's your ETC. Okay? It's an electronic toll collector. So it works like easy pass in the States if you have the, the card for it. Okay? So let's uh, go to the back. We're going to turn this off. This thing's in really good shape, except for that little scratch dent on the other door. In really good shape. Very, very low kilometers. Or very, very low mileage, I should say. Let's jump on in. Very clean. We haven't touched this yet, but it's really, really clean. All right, I'm a good uh, two and a half to three inches away from the back of the seat uh, with my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have storage on the back of the passenger seat. And a little bit of storage in each door panel. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, that's nothing. It does have a center console, which more than likely going to have the cup holders. Okay, which it does. All right. Let's go to the hatch area here. Just chug it along. 
So it's a deep pocket uh, trunk. So this is similar to the Note, but the Note has a panel here. But uh, it's like a sister vehicle. And then if you wanted to push these forward, um, they will lay, uh, lay down, but you will have that hump right there. Okay, so it's not going to lay totally flat. And you do have the option, uh, I forgot to show you, you can um, uh, move those uh, seats up a little bit as well. All right, so let's go to the engine compartment, show you the engine, and then we'll wrap this video up. There you go. Good old Nissan engine. And this will be clean during the detailing process. Okay, and it, it's actually pretty clean already, like I said. The whole car itself is, is pretty clean except for that little scratch dent. But there you have it, 2008 Nissan Tita uh, hatchback. Uh, uh, just approaching 39,000 kilometers, which again is only 24,000 miles. That is it. Uh, military price goes down to 4,500 with the additional military discount. We'll get this down to 4,300. That's going to include the two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2021 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage. It's totally up to you. Uh, we can assist you with that here. Uh, as always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to the dealers, see what they have, and then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have and what our program is all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why. Uh, but if you have any questions while you're on about, think you're not getting the right information, go in and contact us. Information free. We're always willing to assist you regardless if you're buying a car from us or not. So don't forget, two ways to pay for this, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.